Praise Spark. What's up guys? Craze back again. Doing some crazed video here and today we're playing Halo 4 on Master Chief Collection. Just loving it. Loving that Halo 4. Of course on Master Chief Collection it just looks so pretty. So, so pretty. And today I actually did want to talk about something man because we did get some actual Halo news and I don't know how many people of you have checked this out but it's actually kind of cool. We have some more information on the Master Chief Collection update. Uh, we're finally, finally, finally getting a little bit of news uh, for Halo. I mean, it's not Halo 6 news, we know. Uh, but at least it's something. It's something. Uh, it's beginning to talk about that flight ready. Uh, if you don't know what flighting is, it's kind of like what Sea of Thieves did. It's kind of like a little beta to go and check certain things, certain aspects of the game. Uh, but I do it in little segments. And they're about ready to start. Uh, flighting out here in a couple weeks. Now, here's the situation. Now, if you are signed up with the Insider Program, you are probably not going to be picked for the first flighting. Okay, there's over 13,000 people that are registered for this uh, Master Chief uh, Collection uh, Insider Program. So, over 13,000 people said, hey, I want to check this out. I think it's more people that are on Halo 5 right now. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think that's probably a very close statement if it's not completely true. Um, however, uh, over 13,000 people registered, but the first flighting process is going to be pretty small. Um, so that doesn't mean that you're not going to be picked at some later point, but at this time it's going to be a pretty small pick. Uh, one of the things that they wanted to make sure of is that you have played uh, the Master Chief Collection in the past, oh, I don't know, six months? Have you played the Master Chief Collection in the last six months and had at least 20 matches in the Master Chief Collection? Uh, they've already queried the thing, queried the servers as to who those people are. So if you have, if you have done that, you might be more likely to be picked for this uh, first flighting. Now, one of the things I want to make sure you guys know is that uh, if we are picked, or if I am picked, and I hope I am, about the only thing I can say is that it's probably good, or it's, it's fun, or uh, I can't really say a whole lot uh, if we are picked, because there is a uh, confidential statement that, that goes along with this flighting program which is understandable which is understandable and I don't want to risk losing my MCC insider program uh, so I am going to definitely keep anything I see under wraps and of course put out uh, a good survey for them because uh, they will launch a survey at some point to get our feedback on what the the situation is with the Master Chief collection so that is awesome that is awesome that we're finally getting this, and it said it should be in about a couple weeks. That we're actually going to see, really see uh, what's going on. Now, one of the things that they're testing, uh, there's a small list of what they're testing with this flighting. Uh, one of the couple things is like the bug fixing, like some of the major bugs that have been plaguing Mass Chief Collection. Uh, some texture streaming. What that basically means is that it's going to load the games faster. Uh, so uh, that long load screen, especially for like Halo 2 Anniversary or uh, Halo 4, sometimes gets to be a little long, but it should increase that. Uh, the intelligent delivery updated functionality and pres presentation uh, is still a work in progress, but that might be a thing. Um, uh, UI and UI X, I'm sorry, UX updates. Uh, which basically means it's going to be it's going to look more streamlined more interesting uh, and just a refresh of the old uh, splash screen uh, so that's going to be really cool to see uh, updating the HDR settings uh, brightness gamma land support options stuff like that all this is here is on um, the update or on the list on the Halo Waypoint so by all means the link is in the description to go check out the full list but that is really cool in a couple weeks that we are probably going to start seeing this stuff come out 
And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to see that message in my inbox and say, hey, get online, we're gonna play some MCC. Now, for the interesting thing is that it's gonna be a separate build. It's not gonna be like you, you didn't get your Master Chief Collection, uh, uh, you can't play that because you got this build. It's just gonna be a completely separate build. You can play it and, and just get online when they're, when they're ha gonna have some times for it, I guess. But and probably stressing out the servers as much as they can. So that is really cool. That is really cool. I'm really glad to see that's happening and it's about time. <laughs> I know I've wanted to see that for a while. I've been kind of struggling a lot lately uh, with the old Halo 5 and of course Halo, our Mass Chief Collection has its issues as we all know. But I'm really excited about this. Now, another quick, quick little news bit here. As Josh Menke has put out and said, hey, we have True Skill 2 now in the Super Fiesta playlist. So what that means, I don't know. Uh, what he basically said is that winning and losing is going to be a lot closer to 50% now uh, with the True Skill and the Super Fiesta Halo 5 playlist. And it's going to be implemented for the rest of the playlist uh, sometime this week, so probably this weekend. The official thing is going to be launched. It's going to include Warzone. I might actually give Warzone another try and see how that's going to go. I don't know, but we'll see. But thanks for sticking with me, guys. This is Crazed. I hope you enjoyed the news. I'm out of here. Comment, like.